What's good, Bit Rushers? It's Kyler, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to interact with the Tron Smart Contract even if the website goes down. But before that, just a couple quick announcements, and you know what to do. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at BitRush9000. If you want extra access to me in the group, please join us on Telegram, also BitRush9000. Link for both in the descriptions. Alright, guys, let's get into that content. Okay, so you're probably thinking, what is this video all about? So there's several things I'm going to teach you guys in this video. We've had a lot of scams in the Tron smart contract sphere. Um, some of them aren't necessarily scams, as in someone, you know, signed you up and took the money, but just the way that they're designed, um, you know, Basically, if you're not one of the first ones in, you're going to lose money. And then there's also been some other kind of crazy um, things going on. We've recently seen um, a website go down for one of these contracts. So if you have money in a contract and the website goes down, what do you do? Are you just out? Do you lose? And then there was another one um, recently, just yesterday, I saw someone in my Telegram chat posting about this, that one of these smart contracts had a withdraw button on it and when you click the with the withdraw button it would actually deposit that amount back into the contract and there was no way to withdraw from the website right and so there's there's been several things like that happening here mainly we've seen since Tron X went down just an update if you guys didn't know Tron X uh, contract kind of collapsed and what we've seen since then is a hundred different clones a hundred people have cloned the code from that one and named it something else made a slightly different website changed the color on the website called it this that the other thing um, and they're basically just one-to-one -one clones okay and so a lot of those weren't actually built by developers they were just literally copy and pasted by someone who kind of thought they were knew, knew what they were doing I guess and led to some problems in the code and some other things and so um, I just urge you guys to stay away from a lot of these um, copycat contracts so even um, the one I promoted the other day, Detron, that one was actually, I don't think it was a scam, but it did collapse, right? So I barely broke even on that, on the one contract, and then um, the other one, the Detron Futures, it, it uh, dra the contract drained before it ever even went live, and so I wasn't able to get my money out of that one either. So there's a lot of this stuff kind of going on, guys, all right? And so that's the backstory on why I'm showing you this, because you some of you guys might not understand it if you're just coming to this maybe as you new to the channel or whatever. For those of you guys who are in my Telegram group, this is a much needed video, right? We've had a lot of people ask questions about stuff like this, how to do this, how to do that, how to get my money out. Um, and I just want to make sure I, I teach you guys this and, you know, hopefully benefit the entire community, right? So I definitely didn't know this until I just researched it and tried to figure it out because... Um, I wanted to know and I you know I feel like this is something that not as many people uh, in the crypto industry really know about it's more of a technical side of things and so I'm hoping to change that and bring this um, knowledge out to the public and have more people in the industry be able to do this uh, more people understand how the contracts work and not be reliant on the website so the first thing I would recommend is that you copy down the smart contract address. So this one is TRX Bond. This one is not a direct clone of Tronx, but it is very similar to Tronx. And as you can see, um, this one's currently at a quarter million. It's still growing slowly, which is actually good. Um, in the beginning, you don't want it to grow too fast because then there's a bunch of money on the contract that can be drained out just as fast. So slow growth is actually good. And this, I just want to reiterate that this contract right here, TRX Bond, didn't have any problems. This isn't one of the ones, um, you know, that I was talking about earlier. I didn't want to show any of those ones and just call them out and, you know, put them on blast. So I'm using one that doesn't have a problem. Uh, but just keep in mind, guys, that this, you know, any of these contracts are risky, okay? This one could be risky as well. So anytime you're doing any of these contracts, the first thing I recommend that you do is to copy the smart contract address. So there's always a button on here. This is like verified contract or it'll say view my smart contract on um, TronScan, something like that, right? You almost always have one of those on the website. 
And as we can see here, I do currently have 63 Tron on the contract. So let's just um, imagine for a second, right? This website's gone. I come here and it just says like, you know, 501 error or something like that. And there's just a blank website. Um, nothing's working. I can't, and I have money on this contract, right? I know I have that 63 Tron, right? So what am I going to do? So what we can do is we can open up the contract on TronScan. So this is what I'm saying. Every time you join a contract, what I recommend you do is actually copy and paste that Tron contract address onto a notepad and just that's what it is. This one is for this contract. This one is for this contract. So even if the website goes down, you can still get to TronScan. Okay, because the benefit of cryptocurrency is that it lives on the blockchain, right? The contract lives on the blockchain. If one computer goes down, the server that's running this website goes down, it doesn't matter. The contract is still running on the blockchain. Every single node on the blockchain, uh, basically every miner, every node on the blockchain um, would have to go down, right? For the smart contract to actually go down. Essentially the internet would have to go down. And even then, you know, people have, um, blockchain satellites and things like that running so even if the internet goes down um, there's block you know there's satellites in space that are broadcasting the blockchain so basically you can almost always access this okay so no matter what happens with the website as long as you have that address saved somewhere and you can get here on TronScan you can interact with the contract so how to do that so before I get into how to interact with the contract just please go ahead and smash the thumbs up for me guys and if you're not already subscribed to the channel please do so click that bell to be notified on future content and I'll keep bringing you the good stuff okay so from here we want to go to contract this is where you can actually see the code if you come here and you know how to read code you can actually go through here and read every single piece of code. There is sometimes private code that um, isn't published as part of the internal workings, but for the most part, everything is published here. Okay. So that's if you know how to read the code. So what we can do here is read contract, and this is all the calls. So every single call that's been programmed in we can actually use before that though I, I should mention I just I just forgot that I didn't mention this part so when you come to TronScan you need to sync your wallet so right here in the top right corner where it says wallet click that and it will ask you to sync your wallet sync it with your TronScan wallet this process does take about 10 minutes it loads your wallet right away when you do it and I was trying to do some of this stuff and it wasn't working and then about 10 minutes later I got a little pop-up on my screen that says wallet is now connected so even though it will connect almost instantly and show all of your information in the wallet it does take a few minutes to connect so wait until you see that pop-up that does say wallet connected so once your wallets connected you're now um, you can now interact with the contract okay so from here from read contract we can pull any of these calls that we want and basically what that means is for those of you guys that aren't um, familiar with programmers is we can ask what those values are so a call is basically asking this value so percents divider it's a thousand right so a thousand percent so these are all the different variables and we can call them and get what they are so uh, we can get the refer project fee right anything so I can I can interact with this contract right here through my wallet right and I can um, let's just do this one total users so 420 20 or 422 total users on the contract and here's the minimum amount okay so you guys get the point um, this is all the different variables that you can call and this is the read so read write read means to read any information that is currently available and write is to actually input information for those of you guys that aren't aware write is an input it's changing something within it so here we have all the different functions right invest so you can put in your refer address you can put in the number of Chan and you can put in um, how much you want to actually uh, do or if you want to do it. I think one would be the send function most likely and we also have at influencer I'm not sure what that does 
um, withdraw. So this would withdraw, right? Check table. Uh, I'm not sure what that does and stabilize. I'm not sure what any of these do. The only one that I'm going to mess with here is the withdraw function, okay? Because, like I said, I'm not a blockchain developer. I am learning. I'm taking a few classes. And if any of you guys are interested in that, I have links below for the classes I'm taking. I've been on Tech Academy right now. And um, I'm learning quite a bit, but I'm, I'm nowhere near a developer. So I'm not going to mess with any of this stuff. I'm not sure exactly what all of it does. But I do know how to withdraw, right? That, that should be easy enough. And let's just go back so we can verify this information. Okay, so 63.99 TRX I have available for withdraw. If I hit withdraw and send, just like I would on the contract, it's going to bring up the signature because it does require a signature. That's why you have to sync your wallet. We are going to accept. And just like that, 65 Tron in my wallet, right? So I just withdrew Tron from this contract and now when we go back here You guys can see it's at zero without the website All right guys, I hope that helps you So even if a website goes down and you're on a smart contract and you need to be able to withdraw your funds You can do that by coming to the contract sinking your wallet going to contract Right contract and finding the withdraw function and clicking send even though it's send, it is withdraw because it's sending the money to you from the contract, okay? So that's why it says send rather than withdraw, but it is the withdraw function. You could also add more here, and if you knew what some of these um, other you know, capabilities did, you could do this as well. You could interact with this and try to mess around if you wanted. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to... Um, lose any Tron or anything like that. But yeah, guys, I encourage you to find a smart contract that you know, um, sync your wallet, open it up in Tron Scan and mess around with it. Add some Tron to it. Withdraw some Tron from it. Um, you know, do what else you can do. I'm sure there's lots of different contracts out there that you guys can mess around and play with. And if you're currently stuck in one that the website is down, I recommend that if you do have that um, address, go to Tron Scan right away and get your Tron out as soon as possible. I hope you guys learned a lot in this one. I know this was definitely beneficial for me to learn. If so, please uh, smash the thumbs up and share it with a friend or family you think may also want to learn this information. As always, guys, happy staking. Let's get that coin.